So well, once again, welcome to another episode of the meaning of Sri Ganesh Atharva Shirsha. Uh, we are as much possible trying to cover the meaning because Sri Ganesh Atharva Shirsha is one of the most amazing, most powerful, high vibrational chants on Lord Ganesh. And trust me, the energy which is generated after the chanting is just phenomenal. So what is today's video all about and what part of the Atharva Shirsha are we planning to take up? So well, today's Atharva Shirsha we are planning to take up one very beautiful part of, part of it, which is the Ganesh Gayatri Mantra, which is Om Ekadantai Vidmahe Vakratundaya Dhimahe Tanno Tanti Prachodayat. Okay, now this is a very powerful one. Of course, the entire chant is powerful, but in Ganesh Gayatri Mantra, we say that we, we pray to the single tusked Lord who has the, um, who has his trunk waving in another direction because of which he is called as the Vakratunda. We meditate upon him and may this Lord, may this single task Lord help us in releasing all fear and overcoming negativity and he bless us. That is the very simple meaning of this mantra. But more than that, what I like about the Ganesh Gayatri mantra is that if you chant it every day for, from right from Ganesh Chaturthi, which is the fourth day of the Ganesh festival. I'm, I want to make one more thing clear. The fourth day of the month of Bhadrapad, which is the Shri Ganesh Chaturthi. Chaturthi means fourth day. And Chaturdashi means 10th day, which is Ananta Chaturdashi. The festival goes for 10 days, right? So if you chant it from Ganesh Chaturthi till Ananta Chaturdashi every day, it can increase your vibration. It can bring in high vibrational energy and it will put you at a very good um, energy level. Also, if you chant this for 40 days, for 60 days, for 365 days, it will still usher in more positivity. I always tell people, don't chant a mantra just because you want to get something out of it, but chant it in order to make your energy high. Make your vibration high. What is vibration? Vibration high doesn't mean um, just being in a high energy. Because many times people say that the energy was so good, I just felt an instant high vibration. No, that's not what we are talking about. High vibration is a state where you are constantly feeling positive. Okay, many people write to me saying that, Ashwini, I feel negative all the time. There are too many negative thoughts going in my mind. I, I'm an overthinker, I'm a perfectionist, I can't stop thinking. Now, when you're trying to be perfectionist, when you're trying to constantly control things, it's very Rajasic. I spoke about Rajaguna in my previous episode. And that will not put you at a state of peace. It will constantly put you stimulated. That's the reason we talk about when you are constantly meditating, we are deep breathing. You know, when we spoke about the four states of mind, when you're constantly in the beta state, which is the active state, thinking state, your mind will always be charged and supercharged. You always want, you are chasing one thing after the other. You are just looking for some happiness which is in the future and you are not staying in the present. But when you are in the sattvic energy, which means when you are calm, composed, when your mind is full of positive thoughts, you will always stay in a high vibration, which means you will stay peaceful, you will stay positive. Now chanting the Ganesh Gayatri Mantra will constantly put you in, the, in a high state of vibration. Okay. And that's why most of the times when you chant the Sri Mantra Pushpanjali, what is Mantra Pushpanjali? When we offer flowers to Lord Ganesh at the end of Ganesh Puja and during Ganesh festival, we say an entire chant, Om Yadnena Yadne Mayanta Devasthani. It starts from then towards the end of it, we say, Shri Om Ekadantaya Vidmahe, Shri Vakratundaya Dhimahe. We, we chant the Ganesh Gayatri Mantra which means all this is dedicated as a prayer to Lord Ganesh. And we are offering Mantra Pushpanjali. Mantra is a chant. Pushpanjali. Pushpa is flowers. And Anjali is our uh, hands. So, you know, we usually put the, when we pray, we put the flowers in our hand and we pray with all our mind. And then we offer those flowers to Lord Ganesh. This is exactly how 
द गणेश गायत्री मंत्र वर्क ऑल द प्रेयर्स यू हैव मेड वी हैव एज अ मेडिटेशन वी हैव वी हैव कनेक्टेड टू लॉर्ड गणेश वी आर प्रेइंग टू हिम वी आर मेडिटेटिंग ऑन हिज वननेस ऑन हिज कॉज्मिक एनर्जी ऑन द कॉन्शियसनेस विच इज लॉर्ड गणेश एंड वी मेक दिस ऑफरिंग टू हिम मे ही प्रोटेक्ट हस नाउ गणेश गायत्री मंत्र कैन हेल्प एनी वन रिलीज एनी काइंड ऑफ फ्यूर सो सी फ्यूर इज अ फॉल्स फॉल्स अपियर फॉल्स एविडेंस अपियरिंग रियल when we are fearing something we are thinking of something which is not happened but we are putting energy into it right so that is fear fear is not the truth fear is a lie because anything that is heavy is a lie anything that is light is the truth if you are feeling heavy about something if you are feeling fearful you are feeling heavy so know that fear is a lie now how to dispel fear so we do a lot of techniques when we you know in our energy science we do a lot of techniques to dispel fear we also do things like journaling or we actually do full moon rituals to release fear but if you don't want to get into anything of this and if you are not a ritualistic person all you can do is you can chant the ganesh gayatri mantra maybe daily 21 times and see how it impacts you and your energy it's beautiful okay there is one more interesting part about this dt specific gayatri mantras so the dt specific gayatri each each dt has a gayatri mantra associated to it just like om ekadantaaye vidmahe is for lord ganesh there is for lord shiva om tatpurushaaye vidmahe mahadevaaye dhimahi tanno rudra prachodayat similarly for mother goddess durga it is om katyayani sa vidmahe kanyakumari sa dhimahi tanno durga prachodayat for lakshmi it is om mahalakshmi sa vidmahe vishnu patni sa dhimahi tanno lakshmi prachodayat you it, it can go on and on and i can just keep talking about this beautiful gayatri mantras for each lord and for each of these dt as i always say sanskrit is a language of vibrations you are not referring to just a god which we look at it in and yes we do look at our gods in the form of the the four hands beautiful aura the crown and all of that or lord shiva the way he, he way he appears but more than that it's energy lord shiva is the energy of the divine father Uh, mother goddess durga is the energy of the divine mother goddess mahalakshmi is the is the energy of abundance prosperity ganesh is the is the energy of wisdom of dispelling fear of removing obstacles of abundance in fact ganesh that's why he is the one who is worshiped first because he is the one who is in charge of a lot of things and legend say that when shri ganesh was born he was given everyone gave their powers to him lord lakshmi gave uh, goddess lakshmi gave the power of abundance to him and all and so on and on and on so that's the reason when you chant shri ganesh mantra shri ganesh gayatri which is also a part of the atharva shirsha it can definitely help you release any heavy toxic fearful energy try this and tell me how it was i hope you are enjoying this series thank you to all who are watching it and if you like it do like share subscribe share it with your children especially for all of them who have young children you know our children pick the energy very fast and you can just make them watch this video so that they can understand how beautiful this mantras are and how powerful and how scientific all of this is i'm sending lots and lots of love to all our viewers if you're watching us on instagram do not forget to share this in your stories if you're watching us on youtube do share like and subscribe thank you bye bye namaskar